forget about what Keystone might do to the pristine environment. It won't bring up pristine jobs. That is the administration's latest argument against building the pipeline. All those jobs that unions and others argue it'll create are more like a pipe dream. The president says most will be temporary, but it got us thinking. It happens sometimes. Aren't infrastructure jobs by their very nature temporary? And haven't most of the jobs generated in this meager recovery been temporary or part-time? And now they're a problem. By the way, the same people saying this at the White House, aren't their jobs temporary? Andy Positor says that is the problem, and he should know. He employs thousands through his CKE restaurants, and he says those folks, most temporary workers, value those jobs very, very much. But now, now, Andy, they're... They're not, they're, they're not a big deal here. What do you make of that? All right, I think the hypocrisy here is, is pretty incredible, as you noted in your article uh, on the Fox Business website. Look, number one, if you like infrastructure projects, and all we hear about from this administration is we need roads and bridges to generate jobs and grow the economy. If you like infrastructure projects, you should love this. It goes right across the center of the United States. You're going to have construction workers. You're going to have the people who generate the concrete and cement that you need to build this. You're going to have the people that move the earth to build it. You're going to have the people who make the pipe, who manufacture the pipe. So you create a tremendous amount of jobs. Now, they're not permanent jobs, but unlike roads or bridges, which aren't ongoing businesses, this supports an ongoing business, which is our energy sector, which is thriving, which also produces a large number of jobs. It will reduce the cost of transportation transporting oil will get away from the trains and the trucks that are more expensive, less effective, and less environmentally friendly, will help that industry that will lower costs. And I will guarantee you, when oil prices go down, it helps our economy and it creates jobs. I've talked to other CEOs in the restaurant sector over the past couple of weeks, and everyone that I spoke to saw an increase in their business beginning the end of June through the 1st of August, and it's continued on. And that's just about the time that energy prices went down. On top of that, you enhance energy security, which you can, you know, we can use natural gas and oil uh, as a lever against Putin. You deprive groups like ISIS. You reduce their oil Andy, revenue when way, the cost way, of way oil goes sense. down. Way too much sense. <laughs> My point on is, on. a temporary job beats no job. A part-time job beats no job. And for an administration that has been heralding the, 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 the steady decline in the unemployment rate, really because we've just had more of these temporary and part-time jobs, that, that was not an issue then. And we call the numbers what they were then. So why demean these jobs by, by just the basis of of their, 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 their permanent or not so permanent nature. I mean, by, uh, infrastructure jobs are by design just that, you know? What? Well, it, it, number one, it makes no sense. Number two, let me just add on top of the, of the ridiculousness of, of making those jobs less than they are. These are jobs that require absolutely no money from the federal government. There's no federal government subsidies. There's no bond issues. There's no taxes. This is all private sector money creating private sector jobs. If you want to know why they're opposed, it's really, it really has nothing to do with the nature of the jobs or the number of the jobs. This is private sector jobs created with private sector money. However many they create, it's a plus. What it's really about is you, they, the Democrats don't want to lose the support of those large environmentalist donors who have an irrational obsession with the Keystone Pipeline. Yeah, but, and, but they're and also losing so, they're, whatever they gain with the environmentalists. They're losing with unions who desperately want those jobs, temporary, part time, or not. But which really shows you the strength of this environmental lobby that Man. they're actually deserting the unions to go with the environmentalists on something that would clearly be in the interest of the American middle class, Amazing. the American working class, and common sense. Yeah. And by the way, the president's job is temporary. That's it's no true. less an important job. <laughs> you know? For all I We're know, all my temporary. job will be temporary. <laughs> but, right. um, Andy, thank you very, very much. Well put. Andy Puzder. In, in the meantime, I want you to look at this. Unless you dig out, there is really no way you're going to be getting out of that particular house in Buffalo. That, that white thing, that's all snow against that door. And, and that door, and lots of doors. This is Buffalo, New York, and they're expecting a couple of more feet after this.